have reappeared on Hindustan, meaning Siri too might have returned to Skellige. Guys, you're doing, you're doing. Uh, there we go. Uh, you're not hearing nothing. If I have got the, the sound coming through the speakers, as well as talking to you through the mic. So, I just thought I'd pop in. Uh, I've already won. Um, I've already won the, what do you call it? The Gwen competition. I think one of them with the quests completed. Um, let's see now. Hi. What's it called? Um, uh, where is it? Um, hi, 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 hi. Somewhere for 26, isn't it? Somewhere, I don't know. Where the fuck is it? Um, Can't find the fucking quest thing. Um, I I stakes or something's called, isn't it? Be nice if you could uh, search through a bit. Um, um, I can't get. This is not shame. High stakes, there we go. I've already done high stakes. Defeat uh, Phineas, win against Phineas, uh, uh, return to the common room, win against Sasha, meet Sasha in the balcony, win your match against Bernard Toll, mingle with other contestants, talk to the scribe, find the scribe to high stakes there. So that's check for quiz, bind the brothel. Where he gets count table, yeah, using your bits of sense, follow the guard to the crime scene, investigate, blah blah blah, Berlin, defeat Berlin and his goons, clean up where it is, check what's going on. So that's that's the high stakes, um, the high stakes quest, and I completed that. Um, you know, so, so you get a da 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 right. So what I thought would do is, um, right, get, get out of there, uh, what I thought I'd do is show you my. Um, my decks. So this is uh, the North Guardian Empire, and I've got all the the leaders in that deck, right? So you know that's that's probably my strongest deck, right? So this is the cards I don't use on the site here. Um, there's one horn, two bait and frost, one penetrating fog. One trench again, one queer weather, uh, and there's a lot of the archers I don't use in this deck at all. Um, I find it very useful not to have them, except for like the uh, hero cards, right? So, as you can see here, I've got 38 cards in the total deck. Ten of them are weather cards, decoy horn and all that right and as you can see here I've got three decoys, two horns, uh, a bite and frost, a queer weather, cancer rain and, and two impenetrable fogs. The reason there's two impenetrable fogs is because in this deck I don't have any archers so that's why I have two impenetrable fogs right so because I don't mind getting that a couple of times. Um, 28 uh, number uh, unit cards, um, special cards 10 that's this kind of card. Uh, total unit card strength for the whole whole deck is 176. We nine hero cards, and if, if I just scroll down here, and I'll show you what I've got. I've got a uh, Geralt. I've got a uh, Sorella, Fiona, Elrond, right? Uh, I've got Yennefer of Vengerberg. Got Tris Merigold. I've got Villain Threaten Merth, which uh, destroys other cards on the other, other person's deck. Um, Vesemer, uh, he's not bad, it, it can be used in any deck. Um, 
Now, uh, Zoltan Chevy, Emil Regis, and Dandelion, of course. Um, and then I've got Mysterious Elf, Lethe of Gullet, Menno Cohorn, uh, Morven Verus, uh, Tibor Eger Brecht, uh, Black Infantry Archer. It's a 10, which is why I have him. Um, and uh, Heavy Zarakane Fire Scorpion, which is a 10. Uh, I've got the, the Spy, Shivered Fitzo Sterling. It's a 7, but it's a Spy, which is a good card. And Kaharma definitely is not. Because I, I like to have a lot of the, the front runners, it's good to have a lot of them. Um, and then the rest, the rest of these cards are just basically normal, apart from down here, now you're starting to get getting a um, yeah, another spy, three of these. The reason I get three of them is, is uh, when they double up it goes to, to six and then the third one, you know, it, it doubles it up again, you know what I mean? So you get three times three, you know. Doubled. Uh, like 18 or something like you come out with. Um, and then I've got uh, these two at the bottom. Uh, the reason for them is they're nice to have just so you can reuse a card that's already been burned into your deck. So like this, you know, uh, or or even a, a 10, you know. It's handy, you know, to, to, for, for this to pop up after you've already, you know, burned one of these cards as you know, the spare card that you get for winning around. It's a handy thing to have, but um, that's that's my deck. Um, it's, Probably my strongest deck, it's a pretty good deck. Uh, Northern Realms, uh, the same here, I've got two Bank Frost and uh, one Fog, uh, two Torrential Rain, one Queer Weather. Death Mold, uh, you know, again in this deck you see I don't use the Archers, so they're all basically been booted out apart from very high cards or specialty cards. Uh, and a lot of the low level, these ones and twos, I just have to get two of them and another two of them there. So I don't know why they don't stack as four. They, they are the same fucking card, poor fucking infantry. But these two are single and this one isn't, this one is doubled up. There's two of them there, there's one there and one, that's four. I don't need them. Foot shoulder and the same with these as well down here. This guy adds a... Uh, that's one of all units in the row, it's good in itself. But I've got three of them, and to be honest with you, I very rarely use them. Sometimes I stick one in, in the deck, but even three times three, you know what I mean? Uh, three times one, it's, it's fucking no worth fucking having. You know, it gives me, and you get end up with six or some fucking thing. Or, you know, you end up with, I can't mean, but it does add, add one to all the other deck, all the other cards in the deck or something like that, you know. But it's not a very good card because it's only one, so it's not fucking worth worrying about. But uh, over here you see I've got three decoys, three commander's horns, one biting frost, two imperial fogs again because I don't use that, so there's one queer weather. And uh, again, uh, I've got Geralt or Rivia, it's uh, Yennefer, Triss, Vilkner, Vesemer, Voltran, Mysterious Elf, Dandelion, uh, Emrys, Vernon Roach, John the Talus. Esterad Thyssen, uh, Philippa Elhart, uh, the trebuchets, I like the trebuchets, there's a lot of them there. But, uh, if you can get all of them in a row and get a horn doing on them, that's a winning fucking row, you know. <coughs> Got the spies and the uh, medics, and uh, a fair scattering of, uh, what do you call them, uh, frontline troops, you know. But, they're only there so that I can pretend I'm going to be using it. I kind of like to, to pretend I'm using it, especially in the first hand. And then when, when they pile in lots of stuff on the first row, uh, I hit them with a biting frost, you know what I mean? And fucking, they, they fold, I pass it out to the next round, and I just stick a couple of uh, heroic cards, no, hero cards in and win the first round, you know what I mean? It works out well for me. And if I look at my, my deck here, I've got three of the kings, you know. Haven't got that one yet, but it's not really that, that needed. It's handy sometimes maybe to double the strength of your siege units, especially in this deck. It would be absolutely amazing to have that in this deck, because I do have a lot of uh, 
uh, trebuchets and stuff, you know. But you know, yeah, it's 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 a decent deck that one. It's it's not my best. It's set, probably second best. Then you've got this one, the Scotty. I don't you really have a lot of cards in this yet. I mean, th this is pretty weak. Uh, I've kicked a lot of these cards out. Right? I don't use them. I mean, it's nice, you know, these three, uh, yeah, if you've got one of them and you get two in your deck, you can pull it, but again, you know, it's, it's like, you're not winning a lot and you've, I've only got three of them, you know, and once I've used it, when that's it, they're gone, you know, uh, and these two as well, I've only got two of them, so having one of them in your deck, it's not good, so I don't use a lot of that sort of stuff, you know, uh, so as you can see, even that, because it's a zero, I don't you really use it a lot, but I, I might add, but you can see again here, 37 cards in the deck, 27 of them are the cards, 10 of them, uh, you know, um, special cards, 185 total card strength, you know, the total strength in the deck, 179, 176, 185, 9 hero cards, all the same hero cards, I think, you know, so you can see here as well, 2 bait and frost, 2 command, 2 3 decoy, 1 pin of 4, 1 rain, 1 queer weather, and then the rest of it is all, the same special get specialty cards. It's all the same same deck basically as you'll see in a lot of the other ones that I've got, you know. Apart from maybe this is this is extra for this deck that it doesn't show in other decks. But it's unique, uh, you can't use uh, Ethan Ethney. Uh, and you can see it's, it's an archer, but you see these two are so they're, they're magic cards so they can't be touched, you know. And now as well, uh, three tens, fantastic. Four tens, if I can get that up with it, somebody like in using fog or, or destroying it. And this is a, a pretty strong deck as well, actually, if you, if you get the right cards, you know what I mean. But uh, I do have you no know, of these. They are archers, but I normally use them in the front line. You can see these can be used in both the archer line or the front line, and that's where I would normally use them as the front line. I do have these two up there. But again, it's because they're on the front line and they can bolster and support these, you know. Um, and that's that's about it. You can see there, there's not a lot of brilliant cars in there. I mean, if you get a whole deck of these things here, you know what I mean? Then you're not going to be able to do an awful lot against somebody who's got spy cars and the ability to, um, you know, destroy a whole fucking row of, of your fucking guys or, or to use weather against it you can be wiped out in sh short order you know so it's not a very strong fucking hat uh, deck this one's at my weakest deck i think i've, I've been finding it hard to find uh, monster cards uh, but you see here as well uh, i've left a lot of the weather cards out um i've got three decoy two two horns two bite frost one one and one is normal and um Again, uh, all the same cars as you'll see in all the other decks, up to a point, you know. This is where the monster cards start, and as you can see, I've got a few monster cards. Mysterious Elf, Drog, and Lerith, Leshen, um, uh, Chiron, there's only an eight, but it's, it adds, you see that, it adds um, one to all the other units on the row, so it's good in itself, so it's a pretty good card. And it can be used as a natural or a front line troop. Then we've got Fire Elemental for, for the, the trebuchet at the back. Uh, these are pretty good cards, you know what I mean? The them three there and uh, where is it? Um, is it further down? They three, uh, yeah, and these, these, these all stack and pull each other out. So they're all pretty good. Uh, and because it's an archer and a front line troop that can, it can be used on the front lines with them, you know. So that, uh, it's not my strongest deck, but it's not, it's not a useless deck either, you know what I mean. It's kind of when, you know, you can win with it. But sometimes you just need that little bit of luck because you don't have any spy cards, you know what I mean, in this deck. And uh, if if he's using spy cards and you don't get any decoys, just, just you know, scoop them up and use them. You can suddenly find yourself using cards and falling behind in the amount of cards you've got to, to you know, to use in, in different hands, you know what I mean? So you might win the first round, 
but then you're still going to win one of the, the next two rounds and if you've got like four cars left and he's got ten, you're fucked, you know? So it's kind of hard to, to win with this deck if you get the wrong deal against somebody with a, a better deck, you know what I mean? So basically that's the cards that I, I won the Gwent Championship, the Gwent Tournament with. Um, I hope that it's helped you to, to see what you should be looking at if you're wanting to win. The, the, in fact, I didn't have all of these. I actually won the Gwent Tournament before I had all of these cards. I think about four of the, the special cards um, I, I did get to after I won the Gwent Tournament. But the Gwent Tournament was really, really tough to win. It really was, you know. And, if, well, I don't want to spoil it for you, so I'm going to tell you about what happens when you win. Um, but it's it, very interesting, and even winning the tournament isn't the end of it. Um, well, it's no winning the tournament. You, you beat all the contenders before you meet the, the, the Duke. Something else happens, and it's, it's quite a shock when it happens, and it's a pain in the fucking ass, because I kept getting stuck in furniture and shit, and uh, it's a pain in the ass. I had to keep reloading uh, a save game because I kept getting stuck in the furniture and uh, you know they really need to do something about uh, having so much furniture in rooms where you're supposed to move about because you do get stuck on them and you can't you can't get anywhere you know if you're in combat you can't jump so you're fucked all you do is you end up rolling against something you know what I mean and you if you're stuck in a corner that's you fucked you know they need to do something about that uh, in the game. Uh, it's, a, it's a problem we've got with a lot of places in the game where you get stuck. Uh, cracks and, and caves and all that where you can fall in and get stuck and fall through the, fall through the map and shit. It's, it's, they need to find them and, and get rid of them. Although people should post it I suppose. I should have took fucking uh, reference of where it, where it happened and how I got there. and. and and posted it I suppose but I'm just a lazy gamer I want them to fix it without me having to fucking tell them I'm not getting paid for it you know <laughs> anyway that is um, my quick update to my my uh, Gwent card decks I hope you've uh, enjoyed seeing it and this is my wee guy <laughs> he looks a bit like the hunter out of uh, the Ouija board game, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I was going for, you know what I mean? With the, the sideburns and stuff, you know? And the shorts went by here, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Fine figure of a man, even if I do say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there we are. Uh, What's that supposed to be? <laughs> <laughs> right. oh. I'm not going to be playing the game at the moment, so bye bye.